Hello and welcome back to our study of Penina Halacha, the teachings of Rabbi Yezim Alameid Shlita. We will continue this week with our study in the laws of Shavuos. And next we discuss the custom of learning Torah on the night of Shavuos. Rabbi Noagim Lil Mod Torah Besimcha, Bemeshach Kol Lel Chaka Shavuos. So many have the custom, of course, to learn Torah with great joy throughout the night of Shavuos. Yusoda Shal Hamidig Mavur Bezohar. And he actually quotes from a Zohar that it says, Chasidim Harishonim Lohay Yushenim Baosa Halayla Vahi Oskim Torah. The pious people of old, they used to stay up all night and learn Torah. Kach Amar Rabbi Shimon, Bisha Sheiskansu Hachavirm at Slobalayla, Havim in the Sakain as Tachshita Yakala, Kedesh Timatse Machar Etzel Hamelch with Tachshita Karoila. Ashrechel Kamshel Chavirm, Kasha Yishal Hamelch as Amalka, Mitikan as Tachshita Vehiris Atro Seha. this lengthy passage from the Zohar, which we'll explain in a moment, gives the analogy, as we have seen before, of a wedding that's taking place and preparations of a bride and a groom to enter into the nuptial ceremony. So Rav Malamed writes... So according to the Zohar, and the way we understand that is to understand that the day of the giving of the Torah is compared to a wedding. Because this is the day that God tied the knot with the Jewish people. And each year, it's as if we are renewing this procedure, and we are re-wedding, remarrying Hakadosh Baruch Hu, so to speak. If Amr Hamikubalim and those on the Kabbalistic bent say, "Shelimon Hatora Balel Chakashuvas Mechines Knesses Yisrael LeKabala Satora BeOfen Hayafa BeOsher." And according to the Kabbalists, what's the best way to prepare Klal Yisrael for this marriage ceremony again? To Hakadosh Baruch Hu, and it's the study of Torah. Va'aydekach, kasher magia hayom, he zochel his alos el Hakadosh Baruch Hu lis yached lis kasher imoyoser. And therefore, when the time comes on the day of Shavuos for the actual ceremony for the nuptial process, they will be completely prepared and ever more so ready. Umitochach zochu Yisrael l'shefa shel Torah v'chaim ubracha l'chol hashana. And since we start off in this fashion, this union, and each year it starts anew then the Jewish people will merit all the blessings in life of Torah for that year. And he quotes from the Arizal, that anyone who studies Torah the entire night of Shavuos and doesn't sleep even for a moment, he goes so far as to say, that a person who stays up all night and studies Torah and does not sleep, and I would venture my own commentary and doesn't waste time either, then it's guaranteed that he will complete his year and no harm will come his way because the entire destiny of your year is dependent on this night. These are very, very strong words. Otam Amr Laminhag, Sheba Osa Hayom Shekibli Yisrael Torah Ha'ericho B'Shena. Another reason that's given is that on the day that the Jewish people received the Torah, they slept late. They slept too much. Maybe this is something that we could perhaps more identify with. And Moshe Rabbeinu had to wake them up to accept the Torah. We're going to read this on the first day of Shavuos, that Moshe had to go out to the nation so that they could greet God. Imagine that. Most important day of their lives to receive the Torah, and they weren't ready. Because 
or Matan Torah, Shechoz or Meskala B'Chol Shonu B'Chag Hashuah. So as a repair, as a remedy, and to remind ourselves of the mistake that we made at the original Matan Torah, we try to stay up all night to show our dedication and our love for this mitzvah and for this process, and we want to make sure that we don't make that mistake again. Vitrila, Rak Chasidim Yechidim Hayinogim Lomo Balayla. Originally, only the very pious people would stay up and learn all night. He goes back, he says, 400 years or so in the time of the Arizal, the custom spread out more that most people or many people would be up all night learning. However, they made sure that this turned into a real Torah study session and not one of Batala, not one where people were wasting time with idle things. Nevertheless, Rav Malamed writes, there is no obligation to fulfill this minhag. And if it's difficult for one to stay up all night, then certainly one can go to sleep. There are many rabbis, he says, who prefer that people should sleep at night. Why? Because, first of all, they'll have difficulty staying up all night. And if they have difficulty staying up, by the time you get to Shacharis, or any of the davening, you'll have difficulty concentrating, and it won't be a real bona fide davening. Or they won't be able to learn properly all night. Or it could cause them harm by messing up one's sleep pattern. Or they will not be able to celebrate the holiday accordingly. I'll be honest with you, in my younger years, I used to stay up all night. Now I no longer follow this practice because, again, I don't want to stare or to disturb the rest of the holiday observance, as it were. Nevertheless, even though these factors might come into play, people still think we should stay up all night because it shows our love of God and our love of the Torah. And just the opposite that there's a great mila, there's a great positive that comes out of this, of giving over, like, really the effort that one has to show kavod shemayim, honor to the heavens, and honor of that the people of Israel show for the Torah. And therefore, Rav Malamed concludes this chapter that everyone should follow his or her own practice, and you should do what's right, provided that it's all done l'shem shemayim, that it's done for the right reasons. I want to uh, encourage every single person to follow what's right, but certainly to make an extra effort to learn more than you would ordinarily learn. So we have a late night shear here in Shul on Shavuos, and if you want to stay up all night, kala kavot to you. But the idea is that this is a reintroduction to the relationship between Knesset Yisrael, the Jewish people, and a Kaddish Baruch Hu on this wonderful holiday. So we have a great week ahead of us, a wonderful week of learning as we head into the Chag Shavuos. Thank you again for listening as we study the Torah of Rabbi Yosef Malamed from the Pinanei Thank you so much for listening, and have a great day.